Nice. Nice, isn't it? Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and I know it's like Obamacare hits just another snag. Well, wait a minute. I think they were giving it away free to everybody, and then the latest is they hit a snag when it comes to oh smoking and senior citizens or smoking and the young. Well, you know, I think some of those little kinks come into play because oh wait a minute, just sign for it and we'll fill in the blanks later, right? I think. Part of it is because of that. And of course, in San Francisco, they're always finding out new details on, yes, what happened with the crash landing. Well, for now, we're going to bring all the comments on the headlines of today. I know. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said that the Republicans are just living in a pipe dream if they think that, that they can get the, the Latinos to vote for them unless they give them allies, unless they give them a path to citizenship first, and then they get, you know. Well, they, they said um, this is what one of the people said. He said that they have told Baynard that if he wants to be a member of the Democratic Party, to switch parties because the Republicans. You, there, there's 38 people in the House of Representatives that if the President of the United States says, I need my butt kissed, will run to do it immediately in a speaker. He's, this is his last time as speaker. They will not re-elect him the next time. Yeah. But they said that the, you must give them a path to citizenship. We will accept nothing else. And the guy said this morning, this is what we always knew what it was about. It never had anything to do with border security, had nothing to do with fixing the immigration system. The only thing that they are demanding, set in stone, is the path to citizenship. Mm -hmm. Everything else is negotiable but that. And that's the one thing that's not negotiable with anybody. Okay, the independents say, no, fix the problem first, then that. The, uh, the half the Democratic Party, say, actually 67%, say, fix the problem first, then path. And 90% of the Republicans fixed the problem first. So the Democrats are on the wrong side of the issue. And uh, here's one too. And, and, you know what? Flea says, he said, if the Republicans do nothing, will it cost them one more vote than they lost the last time? No. Mm -hmm. It won't make any difference. They weren't getting the votes anyway. And they're going to start putting candidates up there that speak Latin, speak Spanish, and the Democrats don't have any. The Democrats all are from the East and the North all the time. They don't put up candidates to deal with the Latino problem. Mm -hmm. So they don't speak the language. I, they know how to ask one young. Oh, did, when you insult me in public, you realize I actually understand what you're saying? And the White House economy is going slower than forecast. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it by the market today. This market is just going wild on the news that the Chinese are paying twice as much for houses as anybody else, which is driving the driving the sales of houses up, the loans aren't the loans aren't going up now because the banks say we're, we have no interest in anybody borrowing money because they can't fit the rules. So they're selling houses for cash. I love this. The average the average the average Chinese person will pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars more for a home than the home is listed for sale at, which means it's it's they're, they're parking their money from China in houses here. Mm -hmm. And they figure that, that if they push the price of the houses up, then they'll be able to make a, a they'll be able to make part of what they uh, were investing in those homes back. Yeah, by, and if you have a bunch of them all overpaying, yep. then guess what they're doing? Yep, pushing they're, the market they're, up. They're artificially inflating a market. And, a pro and Obama provision delayed. Oh God, the guy is this. They said that they absolutely know. Okay, they have demanded. The, this is the uh, House uh, House Subcommittee on um, um, the, their, uh, what is it, the one that deals with corruption in government has basically demanded Obama explain to them all of this stuff that he is doing. First of which is totally against the law. Only Congress can change the law. The president has decided, well, we're going to change the way things are being done on his own. And the House basically said, no, we're just not going to give you the money to do it. So, so he's got to talk, he's got to respond back. No, so this isn't political. And yes, I have the authority under executive orders. Well, an executive order only has to deal with people uh, with federal things. The health care law is actually designed for state interest, state rollout, so that he has no authority to order anything on his own, except for federal. If you do business with the federal government, yeah. If you're a person that basically 
uh, is, is 90 years old, lives in your own home, doesn't know anything of the government, he can't tell you what to do, period. And protests hit Brazil on this chance to improve the services. Well, they have, they're not going to, to get the services improved because they're being thrown out of their homes for the Olympic Games. Everyone is being moved out just like in China. They want to make everything where the people are going to be allowed to go all nice looking with great services, great, you know, the roads are doing. They're putting in brand new power stations, brand new housing, they're cleaning the beaches up. And then they're putting places where the tourists are not going to be allowed to go is where they're forcing everybody into. So remember what happened in China when the Olympics went? You can't basically see your nose in front of your face mm -hmm. in China again. And China, Sonovo, charged by U.S. with stealing trade secrets. Well, yeah, but that's not going to work because, um, the, okay, there are all these people, well, everybody does it, so I've got to go. Flea said, tell him my line, which I was there on the set when, when Lee Marvin said it to Charles Bronson, when Charles Bronson said, yeah, but he deserved what he got. And Lee Marvin said simply, yes, but you got caught doing it. Mm -hmm. That's why he got convicted. Didn't make any difference, the other guy deserved it. The United States got caught with their hands in a cookie jar, and the others didn't. And House takes up own immigration fix, no citizenship. That's not going to happen. They're going to give, uh, they said they're, if the way it works is that if you were born in this country, you're going to be allowed to be a citizen. If you weren't born in this country, they said you've got to go to the back end of the back of the line and pay, and pay fines. They're going to, as one guy said, he said, <clears throat> he just simply said to the, what, this Latin guy, I loved it last night, <clears throat> he said, you're a lawyer, yes? He said, I also happen to be the head of the State Bar Association. I have right here the definition on the test of, of criminal misconduct and illegal. He said, is coming into this country a crime? And he said, well, he, he said, it has to be taken in a different manner. I didn't ask you that. I said, is coming into this country a crime? He said, uh, according to the bar test, yes. He said, is non-payment of federal income taxes a crime? Yes. Is, ha is illegally obtaining a Social Security card a crime? Yes. Is having uh, falsifying employment records a crime? Yes. And he said, in other words, every single illegal is here illegally and they are committing crimes. Are they not? And he said, yes. He said, and you're wanting us to put the criminals ahead of the people that are doing it honestly. He said, but they're here. Uh, that doesn't make any difference. He said, they're criminals. <laughs> That's the whole thing. They're criminals. They're, they broke the law. Republicans are never going to allow them to get what they want. It's not going to happen because, as, as Lee said, you're not going to gain one more vote if you don't do it. You're not going to gain a vote if you do. You're not going to gain one if you don't. It's status quo. <laughs> Yeah. And San Francisco's, or actually, they're discovering more news about the San Francisco crash. Well, yes, even though the guy had tons, um, um, tons of experience, he had not landed a plane. This was his first landing. Uh, but here, oh, oh, Flea said he wants to hear Bill O'Reilly is demanding that you shall not be allowed to land a plane with passengers on it until you first have a bill, first landed that plane with passengers on it. Which means what happens is, folks, Here's the plane. The guy said, Bill O'Reilly has said I can't land this plane because I've never landed a plane with passengers on it before, so we're just going to fly around and around and around, mm -hmm. and then the plane is going to crash because we're doing what Bill O'Reilly has ordered us to do. It's all over television today. These idiots, our a-holes, as you might call them, are demanding that pilots shall not be allowed to land planes until they have first landed a plane with passengers on it, which can't be done. And Obama pushes government technology upgrade. Oh yeah, in order to save money, he's going to tech. He's gonna. Uh, he's going to add tech, more technology. Oh, this is, and it, but he's going to spend a hundred billion dollars on technology upgrades in order to save money, which is going to happen. Here's one this morning. You know why a lot of Obamacare's things are not being pushed through? Why? We don't have the technology to handle it. And the guy said. Uh, you're the people that basically are, are gathering information on every single person in the United States illegally. You're the person that's now photographing every piece of mail that's going to the post office. You're the person, people that run the Department of Motor Vehicles that know what, know if you're breathing a breath or not. And you tell us you can't, you don't have the technology 
to monitor the healthcare system? The guy said, shit. I mean, that's what he said to the guy. So, and the Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, you, you wonder how someone, knowing something was going to be bad, could spend so much money to do it anyway. Oh, they were Democrats that did it.